Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Zaya and welcome to the Carnuba Detailing YouTube channel. Now, if you are interested in some awesome automotive detailing related content, feel free to hit that subscribe and notification button. And also if you have any questions at all, feel free to throw them in the comment section below where a professional detailer will quickly answer all your automotive detailing related questions. Besides that guys, welcome to our one of two videos in our Pro Decon series. In this video, I will show you how to properly wash and dry your vehicle step by step. Our second video, I will show you how to properly use an iron fallout remover, remover along with a clay bar or claimant to properly decontaminate your vehicle in order to prep it for any type of wax, sealant, coating, or paint correction. Direction. So again, make sure to hit the subscribe button for all our new videos on a weekly basis. But besides that, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Hello and welcome to Carnuba Detailing, your premium detailing experience. A professional detailing studio providing you, the consumer, enthusiasts, and professional detailers alike, high quality detailing services, education, and content. If you enjoy connecting with industry leaders, how-tos and reviews, and business-oriented podcasts, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and most importantly, enjoy. All right, guys, so sitting right behind me is a 2010 Volvo XC90. This is your regular daily driver, dirt, crud, all over the vehicle. It needs a very thorough hand wash and decontamination to properly get this paint clean, smooth, and ready for any type of protection or any type of paint correction that we're going to perform on it. So let's go ahead and talk about the first step of the wash process. So the first thing we have to do before we go ahead and wash the vehicle is make sure to check our environment and surroundings. You don't want to go ahead and wash your vehicle when you know it's about to rain in about 30 minutes, nor do you want to be tripping over tree branches or anything like that when you're washing your vehicle. Safety is a main priority. Now we are in our shop location here in Surprise Arizona so we don't have the sun or extreme heat or anything like that to deal with but do your best to find a nice shaded area while washing a vehicle because the last thing you want is your soap to dry off the surface on the surface of your paint giving you even more problems down the line. All right guys, before I move on to anything else, let's go ahead and talk about what you're exactly gonna need to wash your vehicle. So the first category are gonna be the necessities, things that you have to have to properly wash your car. The second category is gonna be the wants, tools and items that are gonna make your life a whole lot easier and maybe give you even better results than what you need. Um, let's jump into the necessities. So the first thing that we're gonna need are wash buckets, obviously. I recommend to have at least three wash buckets, one for your wash solution, the second one to rinse off your wash mitt, and then also the third one for tires, rims, and extremely dirty areas of the vehicle. The last thing you want is the solution from your wheels and tires to get onto your paint. It's gonna scratch up your surface like crazy. Besides that, guys, we're also gonna need some quality automotive detailing soap. Right over here, I have Wowo's Detailer Shampoo. Really great smelling soap, soft on your hands, and also does a great job cleaning your vehicle and, and giving you a nice lubrication to go ahead and wash it properly. Second thing we're gonna need is some wheel and tire cleaner. In this bottle right over here, I have Brake Buster. You can find all these products and tools online for you to order in the description below. Um, so go ahead and check those out for all the links. Um, but Brake Buster is gonna be your wheel and tire cleaner. Make sure we go ahead and break down that brake dust, dirt, and grime to get those properly cleaned off as well. Besides that, guys, we're gonna need some quality wash mitts too. You do not wanna use any random wash mitt or sponge or microfiber towel on your vehicle paint you want to make sure you have some good quality wash mitts um, this is a microfiber wash mitt and also a microfiber Chanel wash mitt as well they're both great options you can find them links in the description below and we're also going to need a quality mic drying microfiber towel this is the gauntlet from the rack company it is a massive towel guys it can cover the whole screen over here pretty damn big but it's super soft super absorbent so it's not going to scratch or mar your surface but it's going to make your life a lot easy a lot easier when it comes to drying process and besides that guys obviously you're going to want your garden hose with maybe a trigger on top as well so let's go ahead and talk about what some wants are 
So something that's totally a want and not a necessity is a foam cannon. What this does is cover your vehicle with a bunch of soap solution to encapsulate the dirt, drag it off the surfaces to make your wash process a lot easier and safer. So this is an option. It is a great option that does really work and help out a lot, especially if you're in a very hot environment with a lot of sun and you need a lot of soap on the surface so it doesn't dry off on you. A foam cannon is a great option. And also guys, right behind me over here is my massive pressure washer. A pressure washer is also great to wash your vehicle with. You don't need anything super fancy or super strong. Anything from 1,000 to 1,500 PSI will work wonders and help you out a lot when it comes to the wash process. Also guys, some wheel woolies and detailing brushes are very helpful for, helpful for intricate areas such as your rims and things of that nature. So go ahead and pick up these options if you would like. Links are in the description below. All right guys, let's go over the first step or at least what I like to do as the first step in my wash process and that is gonna be your tires and rims. You could also knock out your wheel wells during this process along with your dedicated wheel and tire bucket. Again guys, you wanna make sure you use a single bucket for your wheels, rims, and tires just so you don't cross contaminate all that nasty brake dust and dirt on the surface of your paint on your vehicle, all right? Also, I'm gonna be using my wheel woolly and detailing brushes. You can find links of these in the description below. These are gonna make my life a whole lot easier getting in between all those rotors and things like that and getting a nice deep clean to the rim and tire itself. All right everybody, so let's go over the pre-wash stage. Now the pre-wash stage can be completed with a regular garden hose. All you would have to do is start from the top of the vehicle and work your way down to the bottom, making sure to cover the whole vehicle with some quality water or deionized de water. Now deionized water is this water when no minerals or chemical deposits or anything like that. So if it dries on the surface of your vehicle, you don't have to go ahead and worry about water spots or anything like that. I will leave the tools in the description below to go ahead and achieve 100% deionized water if you would like. It is a bit expensive, but in my eyes, it is totally worth it if you wanna protect your investment over the period of time of your ownership. Besides that, guys, you can also use your pressure washer to knock off any gunk and grime off the surface of your vehicle, and you can also use the foam can that we spoke about earlier to cover your vehicle with some high-quality foam solution from an automotive detailing soap, making sure to soften and encapsulate that dirt, and then wash off as much as you can off the surface of the vehicle as well. Again, this helps minimize the amount of dirt and gunk that's gonna be associated with your wash mitt during the mechanical wash process, minimizing any chances of scratching and marring throughout your whole wash process. Now, if you did use a foam cannon on your vehicle, make sure to leave it dwelling on the surface for about a minute or so. If it is hot and there's a lot of sun and you see that the foam is drying, continually foam the vehicle surface until it's dwelled there for a few minutes. After that, guys, go ahead and rinse off as much foam as possible, making sure to knock off as much dirt as you can as well. Now, if you didn't foam your vehicle, you can go ahead and skip this step and move on to the next. Again, guys, after you're done pre-rinsing the vehicle, whether it be with your hose or your pressure washer or with a foam cannon, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the two bucket wash process. You wanna be using a nice quality wash mitt and also a high quality detailing soap as well. You do not wanna be using any type of Dawn dish soap or anything like that. Over time, those types of solutions will not only remove any type of wax or protective sealant that you have on your vehicle surface, but it will also dry out your plastics and, and clear coat and things like that over an elongated period of time. So make sure you're utilizing a nice high quality automotive detailing soap. Something pH neutral would be awesome if you're just doing a maintenance wash on your vehicle, but something that is dedicated to cars and automotive is always great to go ahead and properly dry the vehicle. If it's hot outside, you have a lot of sun, you wanna make sure you go ahead and move on to this process as quickly as possible. You do not want that water drying off of the, on the surface of your paint. It's gonna leave water etching and marks and things of that nature. That's why I always recommend to use deionized water. Again, check the link in the description below if you wanna check something like that out. But we're gonna be going ahead and using the gauntlet drying towel from the Rag Company. Links for this are in the description below. This thing is massive, super soft, 
and super absorbent as well. So a, a, a mid-size or large SUV like this will be no issue at all to drive with this towel. And again, it's super soft, so you don't risk marring or damaging the surface of your vehicle. All right, everybody. So let's go ahead and get into the nitty gritty details of each one of these steps. So the first thing I would like to do when it comes to the rims and wheels is rinse off as much dirt as I can with my pressure washer or hose and then spray on my wheel cleaning solution on the wheel wells, the tires, the rims, all that stuff and let it sit there for a few seconds to a minute for it to go ahead and encapsulate and break down as much dirt as possible. If it's super hot outside and you're in direct sunlight, you might just want to move on to the next step, which is agitating your wheel cleaner and brake dust and all that nasty stuff with your brushes. Remember guys, spend a little bit of money on some quality detailing brushes. I'd rather spend 15, 20 bucks on some quality detailing brushes and wheel cleaner than rather damage the rim that I'm working on and having to resurface it or completely replace a rim on a customer's vehicle. So the money you spend on quality products and tools, honestly, at the end of the day, is gonna get you better results and not risk damaging any surfaces you're working on. Go ahead and clean up, up with your detailing brushes and wheel woolies, making sure you get all the nooks and crannies of the rotors and everything Everything like that and then go ahead and rinse off all the nasty brake dust and grime that has been loosened by your cleaner and brushes and this is a great time to go ahead and rinse off those wheel wells as well making sure you get those all nice and clean too after that, guys, we move on to the wash process. We're going to go ahead and foam down the vehicle with our automotive soap solution. Just fill up a few ounces of your soap in your foam cannon and fill the rest up with water and then start foaming her up. As you can see, the soap solution clings onto the surface of the vehicle, making sure to encapsulate and break down as much of that big, nasty dirt and grime that you saw in the previous video clip, helping us rinse it off without even touching the vehicle. After that rinse off, guys, you want to make sure you get as much of that soap solution off. You can also foam the vehicle once again prior to your two-bucket wash method and use that foam for extra lubrication, or you could just rinse it off and jump straight into your two-bucket wash method. A grit guard is also a great option in your buckets, making sure to go ahead and help you clean up your wash mitt, but also keep, keep all that nasty big gunk and grime from your wash mitt at the bottom of your bucket rather than on the top for you to go ahead and put back on the surface of your vehicle. After that, I go ahead and start washing the vehicle with my wash mitt, making sure to go into straight line motions. No Mr. Miyagi here, guys. You want to make sure you don't go in circles. The straight line motions up and down, starting from the top horizontal surfaces of the vehicle and then working your way at the bottom. I frequently dump my wash mitt into my rinse bucket and then go ahead and put more soap solution back onto it, making sure to clean that wash mitt out in the rinse bucket to let go of all that dirt and grime that the wash mitt has picked up, making sure that you don't mar the surface throughout the wash process. I also like to open up the fuel door and make sure to clean that out as well and then pressure wash all the soap solution off. Just a little thing I like to do just to make sure that my services are far more detailed than everybody else's in my area. After washing the vehicle, I go ahead and rinse off all the soap solution. Again, if you're outside, you're in the sun, you might have to go panel by panel, rinse off your soap solution before it dries onto the surface that you're working on. After our final rinse, now it's time to dry off the vehicle. I was like grabbing my air blower and blowing out anywhere that water can get trapped into like trim pieces and door handles and then picking up that water with my quality microfiber towel. Remember, just gently swipe the towel across the surface. You don't need to apply any pressure and it's gonna pick up the water perfectly fine. Besides that, great time to go ahead and spray down your door jams with some quick detailer and then dry those off as well. And then maybe with a separate drying microfiber towel, go ahead and dry off your rims if you would like as well. All right guys, so we just went ahead and finished the wash and drying process for the Volvo XC90. Again, if you go ahead and watch this whole video, follow it step by step and utilize the tools and products listed in the description below, you can get the same awesome results at home, in your garage, in your driveway, wherever you may be, you will get the same awesome results. The whole wash process is just making sure that we remove all that contaminant, the surface contamination and get the car as clean as possible before our claying stage. Now the claying stage and also our iron decon stage is going to be followed up in our next video so make sure to hit that subscribe button because even though the vehicle looks clean on the surface, you can go ahead and feel and also hear the contamination that's still embedded in the painted surface as well and also glass surfaces too. 
This thing right over here, this clamet, will go ahead and remove all that contamination along with a proper iron decon, making sure that we have a perfectly smooth, slick, and clean surface for all our following steps throughout our next detailing video series. Things such as paint correction, polishing, compounding, coatings, waxes, sealant applications, those will all be covered in future videos. Again, guys, the wash process that we showed you today is great for maintenance. This is a perfect wash process for vehicles that are already in great condition that need a light cleaning or a heavy cleaning as well. Things such as ceramic coated vehicles, sealed and waxed vehicles. This process is perfect for those types of vehicles. We do it all the time on ceramic coated vehicles. You think a wash process is super simple, but at the end of the day, there are a few steps that you have to take and some precautions to make sure that you are washing the vehicle safely and getting the best results possible. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that subscribe button and the notification button for future videos. And like always, guys, if you have any questions, throw them in the comment section below where a professional detail would go ahead and answer them quickly. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Come visit us at our shop location here in Surprise, Arizona. Besides that, thanks again and have a great one.